All right, so we've connected each of these six points around the circle to each of the other points. Now, the next thing, which you'll probably remember from the Erosi glass we did, is that there are these rectangles, right? So there's like a rectangle here, there's a rectangle here, and there's a rectangle here, right? You should be able to pick those out in the design. And what we want to do is make a, another line going through each of these rectangles from top to bottom. So there are a bunch of points that I can use to mark out where the middle of that is. And if I did everything perfectly, I will be able to line up on all of those points together going through the center of the circle. There we go. And I'm going to make a line there. All right. And then this one here. I'm going to line up here in the center of the circle and make a line through the middle there. And I'm going to make another one that's going to be horizontal. So center of the circle, point, 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 point. That's pretty good. And there we go. All right. So now what we want to do is make a bigger hexagon around the outside. So if you see, if you look at the top of the circle, for example, there are these a vertical line radiating out of it, and there are these two, and then there are these somewhat shallower lines radiating out of it. And I want to go to where these cross the two vertical lines here. And I want to make a line segment like that. That's going to be the top of the hexagon. Then if you look here, again, there are uh, these points here. I'm going to connect those. And basically what this is doing is where each of those lines you just made through the middle of the rectangle crosses uh, the other two lines, you're going you're gonna to make another side. So here, right, is this is going to go to here. This is going to go across like this to here. Okay, now this is going to go up to this point here. Now I can just finish it off like so. Okay, so now we're going to make one dotted line that we're just going to use to set our compass. It's not going to be part of the final design. And what I want to do is I want to go from this point here, which is uh, on our original hexagon, the top right point, to here. This is actually on the circumference of the circle where this horizontal line through the center crosses. And I'm going to line up these two points. And then I'm just going to make one really light dotted line. Because all I'm going to use this for is to set a compass distance. And the line I want to use, if you kind of look through the center, there's this horizontal line that goes through it. And then there's this next line here. And I want the distance from this point here to the center. So I want to set my compass to that distance, to that radius. And this is going to be pretty small. This is why you, you don't want your starting circle at the very beginning to be much less than really one and a half inches. Because if this circle is too small, the compass won't work. So there I go. So now that I have that set, I'm going to make a circle in the center. Like so. Okay. Then I'm going to make a circle centered on each of the points of my original smaller hexagon on the circumference of that original circle. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, and then we're going to make more circles uh, centered on the points of this larger hexagon we made. Now, technically, these only need to go. You only need to draw the part of the circle that's inside the hexagon. 
because that's all we're going to use. This, this inside of this big hexagon is going to be our final design, and everything outside of there is superfluous. So I'm just going to draw this part. Well, you see, I could I could do the whole thing if I wanted to, but we wouldn't use most of that. Okay, there. So we've made uh, 6, 12, 13 circles or parts of circles. And when we're finished with this, we're just about ready to start making our stars. So go ahead and do this step and then come back.